Abandoned wells pose a potential safety, health, and environmental threat to all of us. A well can act as a conduit to carry contaminants down to groundwater. Um, safety issues could range from, from personal safety, from people actually falling or hurting themselves physically in a well, to the contamination of groundwater. If you have an abandoned well on your land, it may need decommissioning. California Department of Water Resources has developed water well standards for the destruction of wells to prevent pollution of groundwater and mitigate the physical hazard. First, it's important to know how to recognize an abandoned well on your property. The public might notice an abandoned well by an old power pole that's disconnected, an electrical panel that's disconnected. You might see a nice bushy green berry, berry brambles growing out in the middle of, of a field where everything else is dead. You may also look up historic records on the property. You may see a pipe sticking up or plywood or metal on the ground or simply a depression or open hole. This well was surveyed um, into our program last summer. It was identified. We contacted the property owner and advised them that they needed to legally destroy the well. About World War I, this well was put in. Um, it was riveted. Uh, and so we excavated the well and took uh, five feet of it out. And today, what we'll be seeing is placement of the sealing material from the bottom of the, of the well all the way to the top, and then We'll be pulling this five-foot piece off and backfilling with clean soil. As the cement comes up in the hole, the tape comes up, so we know right where we're at all the time. This method is one of many different options of decommissioning a well. A technical inspection will help determine the best method for your property. So NRCS's role would be to assist the, the landowner with um, complying with the um, regulatory agency's requirements for decommissioning a well, at financial assistance and uh, also some technical assistance. And the partnerships that we're trying to create is linking landowners with the cost, technical and education assistance that, that is in the county. There's, there is a proper way to decommission a well, and if a landowner tried to do it himself, he may just increase the costs um, later on of actually decommissioning it the proper way. It's vitally important that landowners retain the services of a C-57 specialty well driller contractor. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. If you would like more information on well decommissioning or other conservation practices, contact the district conservationist at your local NRCS office or visit our website.